So the left jab is one of the most dangerous and difficult punches to deal with simply because you can do a lot of damage with a left jab and not commit very much to the encounter. I don't give myself, I don't, uh, I don't give my partner lots of momentum the way I would with a showman or with ski or Yoko Meuchi. It's a left jab, I keep my balance and I'm trying with the left jab to open something else up so that I can do a right cross or a left hook. So to deal with the left jab, you sort of have to fade out of the way a little bit and give your partner almost the sense that he's succeeding, that he's gonna make contact. And at that moment, you come in. But the, the big principle in this is that you can't deal with every attack that comes your way. You don't have to have a response for everything. Sometimes you can just step out of the line of attack and assess things going back and forth for a while until you see the kuzushi, your opening. That moment when you come in and almost pounce on the person, closing the distance, and then you can do whatever technique you like. What happens after that is not as important as closing the distance. And this is a very basic way to study it. As he comes in with a left jab, I'm slipping past it like that. I slip past it. My other hand slips over the shoulder. And as I come in, I close the arm. I close him down and I hide behind his shoulder a little bit because he may try to punch me with this hand. He may try to knee me with the back knee. And at that moment, as I feel him turning, I turn with him and then back direction. So I give him an abrupt change in direction which takes his balance. So I may not succeed, right? But I didn't really get hit and that's all right. We go back. I try again. I couldn't do it on that one. Not on that one. There's mine. So you wait for your, for your, your jab and the, your moment, so you start to manage the encounter.